Today we're taking a look at La Lique Encre Noire. Uh, a few weeks ago I did a review on Encre Noire à l'extrême. I was absolutely blown away by it and so I said well I gotta explore the rest of the line because apparently all these La Lique fragrances are fantastic and for the price you, you really can't go wrong. Uh, so the presentation is slightly different. This time the bottle is opaque. Um, it's just glossy um, black glass finish with Anka Noir on the front. Very simple. Uh, nothing else. This is an eau de toilette concentration. The cap is the same as the Extreme. I'm gonna say it's wood. I actually think it's wood because it's got this rough edge on the inside. Um, atomizer is atomizer. Nice. But yeah, I like the square bottle design. Um, ever since Santa Lucia's dark collection, I, I really appreciated this this different, um, you know, perfect square bottle. It's nice. It's uh, it's clean. Aesthetically pleasing, you could say. This fragrance only has five notes listed. The top note is cypress. The mid note is vetiver. The two base notes are cashmere wood and musk. So, um, again, I've got really high expectations for this one because uh, Encre Noir à l'Extrême set the bar that high and um, I've heard great things about this one. So, so let's try it out. Yeah, that cypress is coming off right off the top. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. Yeah, this smells like a bonfire. Mm, smoky, dark. Very smoky. Literally, it's like if you if you pulled out a, a burnt log that's been burning for an hour out of the fire and you smelled it. It's got this dark, woody, slightly spicy accord. This is not sweet, this is not fresh, this is definitely not fresh. Um, it's not particularly bright, the vetiver is playing in with it, but it, it truly it smells like, like uh, when you're walking outside and someone's making a fire. And you just catch a whiff of that, that, that smoke and that scent. It's got, it's almost like a, someone's burning green, leaves or green branches. It's really smoky. Oh, this is interesting. Yeah. Not my favorite opening. I enjoy it. It's it's unique. I'm gonna have to get used to it, but um, yeah, smoky cypress. That's um, green, smoky, darker. The projection doesn't seem to be overly powerful. This is an eau de toilette. Um, Encre noir à l'extrême is an eau de parfum. Yeah. Smoky, green, spicy. A bit of woods. I can, I can smell a bit of, yeah, smoky woody and that green cypress. Alright, I'm going to come back in a bit I'll let you know what it dries down like. This is an exceptionally linear fragrance, and by that I mean it doesn't have 15 different notes. So what you spray on, what you smell in the opening, it's going to be very similar to the dry down. And, and this is true because that cypress note, even a bit of the vetiver, it's still present now seven hours after I've applied it. So um, it's, it's, it's an interesting scent, very mature, very sophisticated. Again, that, that green smoky note, that, that cypress, I still smell it seven hours after spraying it on. So it reminds me of Bulgari Man with Neroli and how that, that Neroli note, is, which is a beautiful fragrance, is really prevalent and it stands out from the rest of the fragrance. I enjoyed that. I enjoyed that fragrance a lot. However, I have to say like after eight hours, I'm kind of tired of smelling Neroli. So that is one thing to keep in mind. You're gonna smell, for me, I smell that vetiver throughout the life cycle of this fragrance. So, um, 
Is it well balanced? Does it work well with the notes? Yes. Is it headache inducing? No. If you're careful with the sprays, anything more than three sprays of this stuff and you're going to start choking out people. It's, it's quite potent. Um, even though it's no other toilet. The longevity, again, I've, I sprayed this on seven hours ago and it's still going strong on my skin. The projection and the CR seem to be nice as well. Just by walking around, I can catch whiffs of it. So I know it's projecting throughout the day. Um, but yeah, overall, really enjoy this, uh, this Lalique line. Much prefer the uh, Alextreme so far. I just find that fragrance has just notes that are a little bit more, um, not necessarily pleasing, but notes that are not as harsh to the nose. I really find that that, that cypress note is quite, uh, quite prevalent. But that cashmere wood, interesting, you know, most fragrances, they have sandalwood or cedarwood in their bases. Cashmere wood is quite nice. It makes it softer, warmer when it dries down. Um, but this is a great fragrance for pretty much all occasions. Probably not the office, especially not if you just spray this on. Um, but, uh, you know, to me, like, this is a bad boy scent, you know, leather jacket, aviators, boots with, uh, dark denim jeans. Oh yeah. Yeah. Um, no, but the quality, quality of this is, is through the roof. I cannot, uh, I cannot speak highly enough of the quality of these, these fragrances this is absolutely insane. Um, the only downside is that this bottle, although gorgeous when brand new, is now a fingerprint magnet. So, uh, yeah, it's <laughs> it's not looking so nice. But, uh, yeah, love the presentation. Love the bottle. Not my favorite scent so far. Definitely something that I enjoy wearing, though, and it's more sophisticated. It's something that it's like, oh, yes, this is why I like fragrances. This is something different, something unique. Uh, so, again, definitely... Um, not going to be your biggest compliment getter, but uh, something that you want to wear for yourself and that you enjoy wearing because it's 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 different. It's smoky, green, but warm. That that musk and that cashmere wood help to make it a bit more uh, a bit less bonfirey and a bit more uh, muted and calm and and just. Uh, it's just balance, right? Got that cypress with some wood. Um, they work well together. Those notes work well. But again, quite linear. What you smell from the opening is not going to be very different from the dry down. So, overall, I enjoy it. And if you want to grab it, it's going to be linked down below. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Cheers.